I guess to be fair, in this video I'm going to show you how to tame a Gigantoraptor. They're quite useful, they're pretty easy to tame. And here's one I prepared earlier. Mmm, taste there. So when this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. The first thing you need to do if you're on single player is to install the Gigantoraptor mod. If you join in multiplayer, it'll ask you to download the mod automatically. Once that's downloaded, go to mod settings, then go to available mods, then activate the Gigantoraptor, and that'll now load into your map. The first thing you need to do is transfer into ghillie armor. That'll make you much harder for the parent to see you, as if you're just wearing normal armor. If you get too close, you'll aggro it, and screw your taming up. Things to keep in mind before you start. Kill all the hostile carnivores around your Gigaraptor. Otherwise they'll go after and kill the parent, or go after and kill the baby. You'll need to protect them and keep both alive. As you'll be taming a baby, but it won't do its taming mechanics if its parent dies, because it'll be sad. It'll just stand there and do nothing, so it'll be a failed tame. Right, for the taming mechanics, you need to drop a Giga Egg a slight distance away from the nest to lure the parent away. You could try other eggs like Carcass or Brontos, but they might get eaten quicker. Only use fertilised eggs that you got from breeding. Here I've put some sterile down and the parent's not interested. You put a fertile egg down away from the nest, as you want to separate the parent from the baby. The mummy Gigaraptor will go, mmm, that looks tasty. Turn around and slowly walk towards your fertilised egg. When that happens, move out its way. When the parent gets to the egg and starts eating it, make your way to the nest. In the middle of the nest, you'll have an option to press E, which works a bit like a seat. Press E to crouch down, or it's E to stand up again if you need to run for it. The parent will slowly eat the egg you put down for it. And we're waiting in the nest for a baby to come up and play with us. The baby will walk up to you in the nest, jump up and down when it's happy, then it wants to play a game. It will do a movement animation. Then three action boxes come up. It's not like fishing where you have to press one after another, because if you do it fails and the baby will walk off. So how it works is, the baby will do one of three actions, and you have a few seconds to click the key of a corresponding action. A is to turn around, S is to bow, and D is to flap your arms like wings. Here the baby is flapping its wings, so I click the flap my arms key to copy it, and if you get it right, a green heart will appear, and then its taming bar will go up. Then get out there before the parent returns to the nest. Okay, now let's tame it for real. I'm here in the bottom right of the map. Those points show where some of the Giga Raptors are. Put my fertile Giga Egg down. I'll move forward and drop them close to the nest to see what range a parent gets interested in them. That's the second one. Third one. You come in. Fourth one. That's the distance so far. I know that's in range, I'll just wait for it to head towards it. There you are, it's got its interest. It's looking at him now. He's tempted by it. She's playing with me. Go on, you know you want a nice big juicy egg. There you go, it's walking towards it. Okay, make your way towards the nest now. Yeah, stop to take, go in and press E to crouch down. The little baby's gone to see what mama's doing. Mama is eating. Baby's coming back to the nest. Now, sometimes it bugs out and the baby just walks around in circles. Give it some time and it'll correct itself. Right, crouch down, it's jumped. Right, it's flapping its wings. So I flap my arms. It likes it, you get a green heart. It walks off. Mum is coming back, so I'm running out of way. This is about the right distance to keep out of its aggro range. I could have got two taming actions in each time the mother eats the egg, but because it bugged out, I only got one that time. The parent's hungry again, so goes back for the other eggs. Go to the nest, press E to crouch down. Baby will come back. Want to play with you again. 
turn around, so I press the A key. Match it, it's happy. It likes playing the game with me. Playing copycats. And it'll walk off. See what its mother's doing. That's why she has to stay alive. She'll carry on eating the egg. Usually get two goes to tame it for each egg. Baby will come back. Happy to see you. Turn around again. I match. There you go, it's taming bar's gone up. Mother's about to finish eating the egg. Keep an eye on that. You might be able to get three in, but it's a bit risky. Baby's coming. Keep an eye on mother. The egg's broken, so she'll be coming right back to the nest. It's not really worth doing three. So run out of aggro range. Put some more eggs down. Make sure there's no hostiles around. Kill him if they are. Put more eggs down for you. Stay out of mummy's way. She's going after another egg. Go back to the nest. Baby's happy to see you. Flap your wings. I'll flap my arms. Circle's green. You get a green heart. Baby will go off again. Look around, make sure nothing's going to attack. Keep an eye on Mama. Baby's coming back to play. Jumps up. Flaps its wings again. It's pretty easy, isn't it? You only have to press the right key in about three, four seconds. It's almost finished. Try and get another tame in. Before the egg's done. Right, come on, baby. Move your ass. Jumps. Oh, it's just finished the egg. I flap my arms. It's tamed. Press E to get up. Run for it. I don't know if it's going to attack its own baby now. I've tamed it. it. Might have been a bit risky that, but it seems to have worked. You can pick the eggs up if you want. Use them on another Gigaraptor. Now you've tamed your very own little baby Gigaraptor. It's a little fluffy gorgeous baby. Like all babies, as they grow up, they want to imprint on you. So when the care timer reaches zero, do what it asks. This time it wants to go for a walk with me. Come on, big bird. Walkies. There we go. Oh, that's a big jump. Plus, of course, don't forget to feed it. You don't want it starving to death as it's growing up. Then when it reaches 100% and matures, it'll do a little skip. Let's put a saddle on it. You can make this at level 69. It's got two little baskets at the side. And there's my big chicky. Okay, let's quickly go over its abilities. It's pretty fast at running. Left mouse button to do a peck attack. Right mouse button to do a claw scratch. And if you press C, you'll do a screech call, which will highlight all the baby dinos around you. If you're high up, you can jump off a cliff and then hold space and you'll glide down slowly. So you won't get any fall damage and travel quite a distance. So it's pretty good at traveling. If you go up to your Giga Raptor and hold down E to bring up the actions wheel, it lets you pluck one of its feathers. You put these feathers into a creature that's about to give birth and you give the baby born a percentage chance to inherit a higher stat, like extra damage or health. 
but here I've got crappy oxygen. You can give different stat feathers to a creature that's about to give birth to help you create a super mutated baby. If you use the action wheel when you've got a couple of babies next to you, you can select which saddle slot you want to put them in, but the dino icons are really hard to see. There you go, I've loaded up two babies. Take him a little Rexus for a ride. I think you can only carry creatures that are a lower level than your Gigaraptor. On the bottom middle of your item bar, you'll see a new box each side for each baby. When you press C and do your call, it will highlight a creature for you to kill with a red X. Go up to it and kill it with your babies on board. And you'll get one out of three bonding points. You'll need to kill more creatures with the Exxon to get more bonding points. And once you do, those babies you are carrying will become bonded to your Gigaraptor as part of its pack. Then when you've got enough bonding points, both boxes will turn green and say bonded, and the creatures you're carrying will be part of the Gigaraptor's pack. When the babies you're carrying needs care, the icons above the head will turn red. Hold down R to bring up the menu wheel, and you can see what the babies are asking for. If they want something you don't have, then you can use the Gigaraptor's Shriek Call by pressing C, and it will change the baby's needs for something else. So that's a pretty useful ability when you're breeding. And it's changed from Cookfish to needing a cuddle and going for a walk. On the next video, I'll be showing you how to tame a Gigaraptor with a single egg and a trap, which will make it even easier for you. So hopefully you'll join me for that. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful and share it with your friends if you think it'll help them out. Click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. Check out the links below if you want to join Patreon and buy anything from a merch store or rent a server. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.